Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. I've committed to saying it that way. I'm pretty sure that's how a teacher used to say it in school I had. I, well, you can see the spelling. So if you want to find that person, there you go. Uh, supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman. Illustrated by Gretchen. There's her last name. So if you want to find anything by those people, the spelling and all the other good stuff is right there for you. I swear I had a teacher that said it that way, but oh well. We'll keep going. As long as you can find that person if you want them. That's all. So, what's going on with that? Is that good or bad? I don't know if we're going towards something good or bad. I really don't. So I guess we'll find, there's complicated things going on here. I almost feel like the the person this is really meant for, like it's almost like there's one of you that this is really going to hit dead on for. It's kind of like, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> um, complicated. Gemini was complica complicated too. This feels complicated just to start with. Um, going into this situation, wherever we're picking up from it, it doesn't feel really new. It's a good situation. But it's kind of like, what is going on? Uh, it's complicated. There's so many moving pieces. And right now, the spot that you're a part of is good. But you're very smart with this. You're like, <laughs> it doesn't stay good um, without paying attention to these other pieces. Because my spot's good, but this one, if one of these goes off balance, it's, it's going to throw mine off balance sooner or later. And you know that. You're on point with it. So you're kind of like trying to keep your ear to the ground. You're trying to pay attention here and there. It's complicated though. There's a lot to handle. And you're like, got to keep my situation balanced the best I can. First priority. But if I expect my situation to stay in balance, I got to keep... I gotta keep eyes over here and there and like there's a lot going on I could use a couple extra allies here and I feel like that's the problem too it's kind of like you could use some more support some more allies but you're kind of like the ones I thought were my allies maybe not so much so even though things are good for you you're just kind of like I don't know what's going on around here impatience three of pentacles face down in the environment I feel like this is the making of a disaster. Um, it doesn't really look that bad going forward, but the two of these cards together, like creating and um, <coughs> working on something, but being impatient with it at the same time. I don't know about that. Um, that usually causes problems. Like kind of like running through a situation, just quickly taking care of something, throwing something together really quick. Usually, quality doesn't happen that way. That way, not usually. Um, this is face down. Like this isn't something you're seeing. Somebody's trying to get through stuff, trying to get things up to par. It may be something that fell behind that other people don't know. You might not know that something fell behind. They're kind of hiding it, and they're rushing to get it done so that nobody ever has to know. This could be an issue. Because I'm feeling like that's what's coming forward next. Like, there's problems here. Like, technically, things are on point, but there's a lot of mistakes. A lot of things that didn't go quite as, quite as planned or as expected. And I feel like, it, literally, it's a success, but people are like, why isn't this as good as we thought it was going to be? It's kind of like, you know, expecting, like, a chicken dinner and ending up with egg salad. Still good, but it's like we were expecting a chicken dinner. I mean, that egg, eggs are a chicken. I got well, okay. It's not bad, but it's not exactly what was ex it's not what was ex expected. And I feel you kind of champion the situation, like no, but this is great egg salad. <laughs> it's great. And look, we got a little. We we can have a little leftover. We can do this over here. We can save it for then. You're like, nope, we're going to make this a success. You're making sure people identify it for the success it is. You're like, no, this is good. At the same time, you're trying to praise the energy that actually put this together. Kind of like, hey, you did good. I like what you did. Um, and you're also trying to make a, a stronger bond with this person at the same time. You're being honest about it. You do think it's good. 
you're also, though, at the same time, you're like, you also expected that chicken dinner, but you're like, this is what we got. Still good. Let's make the best of it. Let's keep going. You're making somebody happy with this. But I feel like you don't know the reason that that's an egg salad sandwich instead of a chicken dinner is because they had to rush to fix things because things got behind. So be careful. I feel like it's what you don't know because they're hiding it. They're hiding it in the best way they can. Um, and some of you might be like, yeah, well, I knew something was, I knew something was off there. I knew something wasn't up to par. You, but I feel like you don't know exactly how far off it was. It was really far off. Um, and I'm getting this Seven of Pentacles with the King of Cups is kind of like, this is a habit with this person. This is a pattern with this person. Be careful who you cozy up to because this is a problem. The King of Cups is a very good, gracious, giving, loyal person. Just realize what you're buying into here. Realize what you're buying because there. This is a pattern with them, and yeah, it's a pattern. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. Things balance out. See, this is why. This is why this is coming through strongly. Things balance out. Balance. Libras. Libras like balance. You know, I like balance. I mean, not for nothing. <laughs> Typically, stereotypical Libra energy does like balance. You know? Um, the Ace of Pentacles showing up here is it's, it's the aligning with this king. It's the aligning with this energy. I really don't think you understand. I really don't think you see it, though. It's a bad pattern. They constantly run behind, and then they run at the end to fix it. And it doesn't come the it doesn't come through with the quality it should be. There's a sacrificing quality. I'm getting that. You need to know that going into this, um, because they just go forward and they think it's going to be fine. They just kind of like, well, it worked out this time. It'll work out next time. But it's the it's the lower quality. Like it's the lower quality. It's like it should be a level eight to nine, and it's coming through with like a level five to six. Like that's a, a noticeably noticeable drop in quality. You know what I mean? They just feel like it's just going to work out. I really think you need to know it. So for those of you this is hitting with, they're like saying you need to be aware. This person, the way they run things, it sacrifices quality and it's going to cost you at some point. It's going to cost you at some point. It's like, it's better to figure it out now rather than later because you're going to see the proof of this where they constantly do this. This is the Six of Cups, which is a history card. I don't think it's your history with them. I feel like it's your figuring out what their history is with this situation. You're busy, still busy. This is a complicated situation. Still busy balancing your own situation, making sure that all works. Takes a lot. You got a lot going on here. You can't police other people's things. You can try to help them. You can only do so much though. You are just one person. Once you realize the history of, like, this is what they do, because other people, I feel like, are going to tell you, oh, watch out for that one, because they rush at the end. They let it slide, let it slide, let it slide, then they rush, and they get things done, but not as good as it should be. You're going to figure it out at some point, sooner, better than later. Figure it out sooner, better than later. Know what you're dealing with. Because not for nothing, if you see it for what it is, that's a whole different story. It's trying to make things balance when you don't really know what's happening like if you're balancing with false, faulty pieces, like you know, you're looking at a, a sack here and you're thinking it has five coins in it and it has a nickel, it doesn't balance the same. You know what I mean? You can't, you know what I mean? It's not going to balance the same. You need to know what's actually happening here. You need to know what you're dealing with so you can decide what to do with it. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know. I'm just like, oh, uh, it bothers me. Like, because you work really hard to keep things in balance, but if you find out there's a couple faulty pieces, and all of a sudden things go it's because you didn't know what was really happening and you need to know what's happening. You need to. You need to. What is this? Yeah, see, there's a problem here. Other people are going to... Alright, so this... If I just pop into this on its own, this is like a whole situation itself. And it's connected to the King of Cups. it feels like a complicated situation. There's other factors going on here. The way the King of Cups, don't get caught up in the gender, with the way they handle things, other people have gotten very expectant that they don't have to 
like they have more time to do things because the King of Cups isn't going to want it till later. I'm supposed to have it done in a week. They're not going to ask for it for three weeks. So even though they're supposed to have it for a week, they let it go for three weeks or they stretch it out over three weeks. Other people here like that. They know what to expect from that. They've gotten used to that. This is causing some problems. This is like another piece of the same problem. They're very other people are very used to how this works and they've gotten very accustomed to this. So the point is getting the King of Cups on schedule on point is not going to be easy because of other people getting used to the way the King of Cups works. It's not going to be just a let's just get on point, let's just stay on point. Other people have gotten very used to it. And there's another king here. Another person can, that's responsible for another piece. They're supposed to have it done in a week. They let it stretch out for three weeks because they're like, well, the King of Cups isn't going to need it till then anyway. Might as well make it easier on myself. And they've gotten very used to that. It's complicated, I know. The whole thing is complicated, and I get that. But if, if you try to get the King of Cups to go faster, you're going to run into these other roadblocks. So it's not just about getting the King of Cups on point and keeping them on point. It's realizing that the King of Point Cups has been out of balance for so long, other people have adjusted to that. And it's like you're going to have to find out all these other pieces that also need to get um, in pitch, on point, in rhythm, whatever you want to say. They have to, it's, like, it's like a very off-tune piano. And this one note, it's not just the one note, this like this whole area is out like this it's kinda of, it's a lot. There's a lot of work that would it would take a lot of work to get this on point, is what I'm telling you. This is frustrating to me because it's just it's it's gone on for a while. This is not a new problem. So all this has happened and adjusted like one piece went out of whack and all these other pieces went out of whack with it. Okay, so <laughs> it's very complicated. It's very complicated. Again, for those people this is really hitting for, you're going to be like, yeah, no. Um, can you make this go back together? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot going on here. You have a lot of responsibilities. You have a lot to take care of on your own. I, I just, this, this it's asking a lot. You want you, you're, I feel like you're addressing it and seeing it. you got to see what it is. The soulmate is for me, when I'm seeing you connect to this, like, all right, that's what's actually happening. This is why this is happening that way. I feel like you can coax this person to try to get it more under control. I feel like you're working with this, but I also feel like you, the guilt here is like you can't, you can't give it the attention it needs to really correct it. It's kind of like the King of Cups needs to kind of get his act together, his, he, she, they, whatever they may be. But you can't seem to, ha you, you don't have the time to really coach them on that. Yet at the same time, the soulmate card is telling me, knowing what's really happening, knowing what the problem really is, helps you kind of find other ways to maneuver around it. There's too much here. There's too much. I feel like there's really too much. The Six of Swords is telling me this might be something you just got to know what's happening and then just kind of let it be. Because uh, I feel like it takes too much energy to really fix it. There's just, you have a lot. If this was the only thing you had to do, that'd be one thing. You could do it. You got so much other, you got so many other things going on here. Um, I feel like you're also going to try to get other people to kind of get into it and try to fix it and help the situation. That's smart, letting other people know what you found, trying to see if they can do something with it, but the wisdom here is connecting with the Five of Swords and the isolation. You don't have the time to fix it. I don't really feel it. I don't see anybody else having the time to fix it either. And it's one of those things where they're like, well, I could try to really push it and push it and push it, but there's other things they're balancing. They're like, I put that in balance. This other thing goes out of balance. So isolation with the five of swords is telling me people aren't willing to put the effort in to fix it because they're thinking I can fix that, but then that'll go off. Then I have to go back and fix that. Then this goes back off or something else goes off. Like it's like a conundrum. It's a big conundrum. I feel like what they want, what they're trying to get to you to this reading is because 
if you see it for what it is and you get down a little deeper and find out, all right, this person's off base and they're not doing things the way they should, and then you realize they've done it so long and that all these other things have gone out of tune with it, if you see it, you can manage yours better. Um, you don't want to aid in this ridiculousness because I feel like it's ridiculousness. You want to stay on point the best way you can. At some point, I feel like there's going to be some type of clean house thing. I don't feel like you're going to be the one cleaning house. But if you keep yours on point and on schedule the way it should be done, I don't think you're going to have a problem. Keep that in mind, though. At some point, there's going to be some type of clean house thing going on here. Somebody's going to finally step in and be like, all right, we're going to do this differently because this is ridiculous. There might be pieces moving around. There might be some other upheaval. As long as you stay on point and you do what you need to do to keep it all even, when that moment comes, it shouldn't dump on you. You're, but you might be moved into a better position to keep things on point. Because I feel like if you have a reputation for keeping things on point, that will serve you in the long run. They just want you to know what's going on here. Like, this is a deep issue. There's a lot of craziness going on here. A lot. They're just saying, also, don't beat yourself, don't beat yourself bloody over it. Don't, don't drown yourself in it when you can't really fix it. If it was the only thing you had to do, uh, yeah, but it's not. you got a lot going on. And other people do too, but at some point there will be a clean house. I feel like I really need to stress that. There will be a clean house at some point. You're not going to be in the control of it. You're not going to be the one initiating it. But if yours is on point, if you're doing things the way they should be done, it won't hit you negatively. Just be aware of it. Okay. They're really stressing that. So I think I stressed that enough. I'm going to let that go here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.